Al was the most gentlest of people, classiest of guys. I, um, we bonded right away. I mean, it was just, there was just something, and it was the calmness in his voice, the, the smile when we would talk and the laughter we would have, and the number of times we told each other we loved them. I called him every Christmas, I called him every birthday. And, you know, I'd called Al, I don't get him. And I don't get him again a week later. And then three days after that, he uh, called me and said, John, I'm sorry, I was in the, I, I was in the hospital and it wasn't great. But I, I really do appreciate you and, and calling and caring for, about me. And he just want to tell you I love you. And I said, love you too, Al. And then, Three days later, I guess he was gone, so I, I was a lucky man to know him. I just froze. I just come to tears, went to myself, got on my knees. And I said, and I thank the good Lord for the years, the many years he let we been together. And I thought about the time in spring training this year that uh, I saw him out in the hallway looking at some pictures on the wall, World Series picture, and I just walked up to him and said, great memories. <laughs>